Hey friends, thanks so much for joining me again today at the workbench. And we're gonna talk about a useful, useful tool that you need to have at your workbench. So let's go ahead and get started. Today we're gonna talk about saws. All right, friends, so at the workbench, I am constantly using a saw. And the most frequently one used is probably a coping saw. So I'm cutting small little things, but I also use, and I got them hanging above my head here. I also use a hand saw. One of my favorite saws is this Wicked Tree Gear saw. Look at how aggressive those teeth are. And this thing is super tough. This is one of my favorite saws to use, this little hand saw. I use this on the farm all the time, and it hangs right up here where I know where it is. But another saw that's really good to have is a, anybody know what this is called? It is a hacksaw. It's a hacksaw. It's for cutting metal. I have a little visitor in here today. That's who I'm showing this to. But this is a hacksaw. And I recently used this hacksaw to fix a tractor. Okay, well, not really to fix a tractor. I was asked to make a joining pin for the tractor to the wagon. And I'll show you it right here. So I had to cut it, use my vise, use my hacksaw, and then we went and fitted it. Okay, yeah, so it's, it's not a real big tractor, but I didn't say it was a massive one. It was a tractor though. So you can use your hacksaw or any other saw to fix tractors. That's right. So look at the difference here in these teeth. See how tiny those teeth are? You can barely even see them. This is a hacksaw. The reason these teeth are so fine is so you can cut metal. These teeth are very fine too, and that's for making small cuts on woodwork. Now these teeth on here are very large, and these are for cutting limbs and tree branches and brush and, and other things where you don't need a fine cut. You just need to rip and shred real quick. So saws are super handy, and different saws are meant for different purposes. Right here, I have four or 10 saws hanging and they're meant for different purposes. So a saw is a super useful tool. Make sure when you saw, you're not trying to put all the force of your whole body into the sawing motion. A saw works best when it goes back and forth at a rapid pace. The more teeth you can connect to that material, faster, the faster your sawing will go. So if you're sawing and you're pressing down really hard, all you're gonna do is wear yourself out. If you are sawing back and forth at a rapid pace and not trying to push down too hard, you're gonna get through that a lot better and it's gonna be a lot cleaner cut. All right, so thanks so much for watching, folks. Thanks so much for the view. I really appreciate it. Remember to work hard because hard work is its own reward. And thanks for watching. Two thumbs up.